Let's continue our part four. Last time we finished off uh, here, uh, we discussed um, inductor in series, inductor in parallel. Now in very beginning, I said inductor wouldn't consume energy, but an inductor can uh, store energy, can release energy. Uh, the following is um, about uh, power and energy in inductor. You may uh, remember this uh, equation. This is P equals V times I. This is a very re simple relationship between power, voltage, and current. Uh, we just uh, learned this uh, fundamental physics with an uh, inductor. The relationship between uh, voltage and the current is um, um, governed by this equation V equals L di dt. Okay, this is V. Now, if we use uh, this part, we replace V there. Now we have uh, P i left here, we have an L di dt. And this is a simple mathematics. Uh, according to original definition of power, P equals dW dt. Now here we have a P equals I L di dt. Now we can link those two equations together. Here is a dW dt equals I L I L di dt. So we have uh, this uh, equation. Now, now because of both sides, there is a uh, dt, how we can get rid of dt. Yes, this is uh, the same thing, get rid of. Now we have this left, this uh, dw equals l i di. All right. Now both sides, we take uh, integration. Um, and here, because L is a constant, we take L out, we have L integrate I di. Now this uh, integration differential, this uh, cancel each other, this, those two cancel each other, you have a W equals, uh, L is a constant, uh, integrate I di, uh, that is uh, one over two I square. Uh, if you have any uh, doubt about this, uh, this um, you can check your mathematics um, book. Now this is uh, energy stored in uh, inductor. So this is energy equals one over two L I square. Uh, that is energy in uh, inductor. And this page is about the example. I jump on, jump this page uh, because we will do this uh, during synchronous uh, session. Uh, similar to inductor, now we discuss uh, capacitor. Now capacitor basically uh, is a device to uh, store energy. Yeah. Normally you have two plates there. In between is a dielectric material. Uh, those two are conductive material. Uh, if we consider a parallel plate, uh, uh, if you apply a voltage, this is a battery, say this is a battery, and here you have a positive charge, this side you have a negative charge. You, you may remember we use uh, this symbol to stand for capacitance. Okay. Capacitor consists of two conductors separated by insulation material. That, that is uh, this uh, diagram. It is uh, based on electric field. If you remember when we discussed the uh, inductor, I said inductor is uh, based on a magnetic field. So that is uh, the difference. So in physics, a capacitor opposes change in voltage. That means uh, that voltage, you can't uh, suddenly change this uh, voltage. This is uh, uh, physics. Now to describe uh, capacitor, we use uh, capacitance as a parameter. 
it is a circuit parameter for capacitor. So by definition, capacitance is a ratio of electric charge stored between two conductor Q to potential uh, or divided by potential difference between the two electrodes. Okay. As a C equals Q divided by V. In other words, the capacitance is a per voltage, how much touch. Uh, already we discussed, uh, the, we use uh, this uh, symbol. Uh, if we um, uh, consider we have uh, a capacitance, we have a voltage that is a uh, current. So the unit for capacitance is uh, farad. Um, farad is, was uh, English. Uh, again, this is a 17, uh, 1791 to 1867. But often we use um, micron farads. That is uh, one times 10 to minus six farad because this uh, F farad, this unit is too large. Or uh, nano farad, that is NF, uh, that is one times 10 to minus nine farad or even smaller picofarad. That is uh, 10 to minus 12. Uh, for our research in uh, electrical capacitance uh, tomography, actually we use uh, even smaller, we use FF. That is a femtofarad. Femtofarad equals one times 10 to minus 15 F. Uh, that's uh, three orders uh, smaller than picofarad. Okay, according to physics, the relationship between the current and the voltage on a capacitor is this. It's I equals C dV dt. So this is a fundamental physics. Now the following uh, analysis actually is based on this uh, fundamental relationship. Okay, I said, uh, Previously, the voltage on a capacitor cannot be suddenly changed. But if the voltage suddenly change or constant, what is the consequence? The capacitor does not allow step change in voltage because a step change in voltage means dV dt approach to infinite. If you look at this equation there, uh, if dV dt, this uh, voltage suddenly change, this dV dt approach to very large. Therefore, the current would be very large. In extreme case, the current approach to infinite. If uh, a voltage across a capacitor is a constant, we go back to this uh, equation again. If it, this is a constant, the dV dt is zero. That means I, is uh, zero. That means if you apply a constant voltage to a capacitor for a long, long time, the current will be zero. In that case, capacitor behave like open circuit, like uh, nothing there, it's a block, it's a block uh, current. You must have learned the uh, ideal parallel plate capacitor uh, that is uh, look like this. Look like this. This is uh, look like a parallel plate uh, capacitor. There is a sim very simple equation to estimate uh, capacitance. C equals epsilon zero epsilon r times a. A is an area. That is an area of plate divided by d. D is a distance between two plates. And here, epsilon r, epsilon zero is a dielectric constant. The value is 8.85 times 10 to minus 12 farad per meter. Uh, epsilon r is called the relative uh, permittivity. It's for different material, epsilon r is different. For example, for oil, epsilon r is around two. For water, epsilon r is around 80. Is very large. Uh, we jump this uh, example. Now we uh, have a look if we have uh, two capacitors in parallel, 
what is uh, uh, the relationship between this current and uh, those those two currents. Okay. Uh, according to Kirchhoff current law, if we have an overall current I, uh, this uh, I go this way, uh, this uh, current will split into two parts, I1 and I2. And we have two currents, one go this way, one go that way. Uh, according to Kirchhoff current law, I1 plus I2 equals I. So that means uh, current in uh, equals current out. We know this uh, fundamental equation, I equals C dV dt. That is uh, in very beginning, we uh, use, uh, I introduce uh, this equation. Uh, for each individual, for C1 here, for C1, you have I1 V, okay? Now we can use uh, this equation to describe the relationship. I1, that is the current uh, here, equals uh, C1 dV dt. Similarly, uh, I2 equals C2 dV dt IP, that is uh, overall current uh, here, IP, equals uh, CP dV dt. CP is a combination. That together is a CP. Uh, it's a equivalent uh, capacitance. Okay, now we can uh, take those uh, results back to original equation. I take this to replace I1, take this, replace I2, Take this, replace IP. Now we have this equation there. That is a CI dV dt plus C2 dV dt equals CP dV dt. Now do notice V is the same. If we look at this uh, diagram again, this is a V, that is a V, that is a V. So all V is the same. Therefore, dV dt all the same. Now, all those cancel each other. So we have, what we have uh, left? This is C1 plus C2 equals Cp. And we have this left. Now in conclusion, if uh, two or more capacitors are in parallel, the overall capacitance is sum of all individual capacitances. This is uh, very, uh, this is the same. Uh, same to uh, resistors in series. If you have uh, two resistors in series, you add together. But now for capacitor, like, uh, like this, if you have two capacitor in parallel, the overall capacitance is the sum of the, those two. So that is the opposite to uh, uh, resistor. All right, now what about uh, capacitors in series? Here is uh, an example. We have uh, two uh, capacitors, C1, C2, in series together. The overall voltage is uh, V. Uh, let's uh, try to find out what is this? What is a V1? What is V2? V According to Kirchhoff voltage law, this voltage equals this V1 plus V2, that is obvious. We have this equation. Okay, if I use a VS, keep it consistent. Uh, again, we make use uh, of this uh, fundamental equation, I equals C dV dt. This is the fundamental physics. All right. Now, if I change, I move dt to this side, move to this side, this is I dt equals C dV. And then I take uh, integration, both sides take integ integration. Because the C is a constant, I take C out. This is C integrate dV. Here is a, uh, that is a differential, this integration, this uh, cancel each other. I have a CV left. Okay, if I move a C to this side, this V equals one over C integrate I dt. Uh, now, this is just a different way to describe the relationship between V and I on a capacitor. This, uh, in principle, this is exactly the same as uh, that equation, just a different way. Also, this is a universal uh, hold. 
uh, for this uh, capacitor V1, uh, we can use uh, this equation, V1 equals one over C1 integrate I dt. By the way, I will go through all here. It's the same, all I is the same. Uh, V2, similarly, it, V2 equals one over C2 integrate I dt. Uh, Vis equals one over Cis integrate I dt. Yeah. Now we uh, we work out what is a V1, what is V2, what is Vs. Now we can uh, take this result back to there to replace V1. Take this back there to replace V2. Take this back there to replace Vs. Uh, from that equation, uh, we go back there. We have one over C1 integrate I di plus one over C2 integrate I di equals one over Cs integrate I di. Oh, no, it's uh, not far from uh, final. You may notice uh, here I d uh, integrate i dt, integrate i dt, integrate i dt. So all is the same. Now we can cancel each other. Uh, here we cancel each other. Now what we left is a one over c1 plus one over c2 equals one over cs. Oh, that is uh, a final result. Uh, this uh, results give us a uh, conclusion if uh, two or more capacitors are in series, the inverse of overall capacitance, this is the inverse of overall capacitance, is the sum of the inverse of all individual components. This is uh, similar to resistors in, uh, in parallel. Uh, in, in format, this is similar. But in principle, this is uh, exactly opposite. Uh, the last bit uh, in this part uh, is about uh, power and energy in capacitor. Uh, this is similar to, uh, to inductance. Right. Similar to inductance with a capacitor, a capacitor wouldn't consume energy, but can store energy, can release energy. In very beginning, we learned P equals VI. So that is uh, power equals uh, voltage times current. Uh, because uh, I equals C dV dt, this is the fundamental physics. Uh, now P equals VI, we use uh, this, replace I, we have uh, V C dV dt. Uh, uh, in another, uh, from uh, another angle, we know uh, the definition of power is uh, P equals dW dt. Uh, here is also P, that is also P. So this part, this part, this part must be equal. So that we have uh, this uh, equation dW dt equals V C dV dt. Uh, because uh, both sides, there is a uh, dt, this uh, cancel each other. I have uh, dw equals vc dv. And then both sides, we integrate. Again, because c is a constant, we take a c out. Uh, this c out, uh, integrate v dv. Uh, integration differential cancel each other. I have a w left equals uh, actually, okay, I should, uh, should move this uh, C out, uh, put this outside. Uh, so C is a constant, integrate V dV. Uh, if you check your mathematics uh, book, uh, integrate V dV equals one over two V square. So that is uh, uh, the energy stored in, um, in a capacitor from this, um, uh, final result, you can see uh, the energy proportional to capacitor. If I have a bigger capacitor, you can store more energies. Uh, proportional to V square, if a voltage is high, 
you have uh, more energy stores. So that is uh, obvious. The following pages, this uh, is an example. And here is a summary. That is a summary. All right, we finished uh, part four. Is part of four? Yeah, it's uh, part of four. We finished uh, part four. The next time we will start uh, part five.